Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft episode number 25. So in episode 24, the last episode, we built the ice super highway and got it completely decorated. I'm going to go over there and show it to you guys real quick. And uh, after that, we're going to be doing something really cool with bees. So stick around. It's going to be a pretty exciting episode. I know I am excited. Um, but yes, the bridge looks really nice from pretty much all angles. Uh, there's nice supports. I'll show you once we get further down in it. But let's just show you what I did. Um, this is something I'm really proud of. It took a long time. I didn't record all of it, so if you watch the episode before this, oh man, <laughs> it's still really late at night for me, so I can't even ride down in a diagonal path, uh, but I hope it sort of makes sense what this thing is. Oh, this is so painful to watch. It's painful for me to do. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. I'll stop over here in the corner. Oh my gosh. Boats are crazy. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it looks really good. The bottom is covered. It, uh, it looks like a proper highway. I'm really proud of it. Uh, I didn't think it would turn out as well as it did. Uh, but it, it, it exceeded my expectations, uh, which is always a good thing. So I'm happy to have done it. So I'll show you where it leads to and where we're going to be building a new little outpost area. It's going to go all the way down to the jungle. So we take the right fork here, which is the off ramp. It technically goes right back onto the same road, but it's an off ramp. See? And then I think I can make it this th this time. You know what? We're going to try. I'm going to try to make it. Nope. I'm hitting the... Oh. Oh. oh see? I don't know. Th it's weird because I had to widen this thing by two and I still fail at it. <laughs> but yeah, it takes us over here to the jungle, uh, which is super cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go back to the actual house now. And uh, it is 4.30 in the morning, so I apologize if my commentary is a little off. Uh, but we're going to go back to the house. We're going to build this little bee area. Keep in mind, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I'm going to put a bunch of flowers down, put a bunch of oak saplings down, grow them with the flowers near until we get a beehive. And since we have silk touch, we can supposedly pick up these beehives now. Um, I'm not exactly sure on how that works because I've never done it. I'm also not sure what I'm going to be doing with that area, I guess. Maybe some sort of farm, but my rule was there had to be in a greenhouse. So I'm not sure how it applies if we're going to have bees outside. Uh, there we go. So it is possible to go down it straight. It's just I'm not too good at it yet. <laughs> it's only like the fifth time I've gone on it. Uh, but yeah, let's get off that thing. So once we need to go over there, it's nice to have. It looks really cool. Uh, I don't want to texture it anymore. It took too long to do what I had already done to it. I spent probably three hours on episode 24. So I'm serious. I really would appreciate it if you go and check it out. And uh, if you missed yesterday's live stream as well, uh, digging the quarry today should be Sunday when this goes live. And uh, if you missed the uh, live stream that I had on Saturday, it's uploaded to my channel. So it should be called quarry dig number four because uh, the fourth live stream where we dug a big old quarry out. Um, it's a 50 by 50 quarry. I think we finish it in the live stream. I'm not sure because this is recorded before the live stream even exists. Uh, but I'm just telling I'm just trying to get more views from you guys. I want you to go look at the other stuff, but I don't want you to miss anything. Uh, if you really care about this series, so I'm trying to help you guys out, but also help myself out, if I'm being honest. You know, I, I'd, I'd like more views, but I'd also like you to enjoy more content from me. Maybe you would too. Um, I'm going to go back home and sleep, but I'm going to finish mining this little thing first. Okay, so I'm not really sure how these bees work 100%. I know that they will, I don't know, I know to get them to spawn, I have to put a bunch of flowers near some oak trees and grow them, uh, but beyond that, I don't know, like, do they reproduce? Do, do, do more bees get made the longer they sit there? Um, I don't know, but we'll find out these things together. Some of you may already know the answer. Um, I sure as heck don't. I really don't. I'm not too good with all the new stuff. There's, they've just added so much. I feel like an old man. I'm like, all oh, this newfangled technology I don't know how to use it I really don't I have no clue um, so we'll figure it out together should be a fun adventure but first of all to start the adventure we've got to build a big old fence you're asking me why do you need a big fence Neo um, I just want to block everything out you know block out all the haters block out all the bad vibes and uh, this double wide double tall double tall I guess not double wide spruce fence will do the trick just nicely um, at least that's the hope and also just kind of looks good well, I think what I'm going to do is add some slabs on top of it made of spruce. Um, and then we'll go from there as far as aesthetics go. I don't think it's going to need a whole lot of work just because it's, I don't know, it already looks like a nice big fence, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I'll just stick some slabs on top and then we'll call it good. And it'll look like it's kind of walled in. You know, it'll feel sort of open, but at the same time have a walled in effect. 
I've just got to get some more spruce wood. Luckily, I think we're gonna have enough fence. Thank God. I don't wanna. I don't wanna make any more fence. It takes like a. It took two whole giant spruce trees uh, to grow and then be harvested just to get this much. This much fence. Why it's so inefficient to make? I'm not sure. Maybe Mojang should change it, but it's been the same for so long that I don't think they ever will. I remember before there was fence gates, to make fence, all you needed was sticks. You just put sticks in the bottom two-thirds of the crafting table, and you had yourself a big, beautiful um, stack of fence. But it doesn't work like that anymore. Uh, let me mine this tree real quick. Okay, tree is almost mined. Just filming the fun part, you know, the descent from your... From your large tree gathering expedition. I need to plant these trees back. I've broken so many and I haven't planted them back. I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, man, it's it's four it's four thirty in the morning and I'm just going. We're just we're just going. We're just building and uh, there's no stopping us. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not, we can come back and make more. Uh, but yeah, the entrance is just right there. Not gonna do anything super fancy for the entrance, just basically um, have that same sort of slab pattern. Except it's going to be going up in the middle to signify an entrance. Ooh, yes. So fancy. Um, something like that. And then we're just going to get on top of here. And then start going start going with the slabs. So it's just going to look like a wall. Uh, that's really all I'm going for. <laughs> As you can see, it might take a while. So I'm not... Actually, no. It's not going to take a while. I was just facing the wrong way to do this. There we go. I was going to say, I don't want to have to pause it just to, rec just, just to place these... Um, building that highway, it took about 2 hours and 30 minutes, like I said, it took like 3 hours for that episode. That's why I keep telling you guys to go watch it, because I just made it, and it's like I know how much effort went into it. And it doesn't seem like, you know, the best highway in the world, but just the scale of that project. I had no idea, I was planning, you know, it's, it, it's a late night, I like to get all my videos done on Thursday. I was like, yeah, it's just going to be a cool little one episode project, and I made it happen in one episode. Uh, but now that I look at it, it should have been like maybe a three-parter episode. Um, I guess it technically had two because I built the just the actual ice outline, uh, which ended up being too thin. But you know what? It's okay. If, no, if people probably don't want to watch that, but I didn't really show too much repetition. I know I shouldn't be talking about my other videos, uh, but yes, we're making a big wall for this big, beautiful flower forest beehive growery. Again, I don't know what's gonna happen with these bees. I hope we get some. Uh, from my understanding, it's actually kind of rare, like a maybe 0.5% chance that even a, an oak tree growing near a flower will spawn one or maybe it's like 2.5% I don't remember but it's some very low percentage so we may have to do it for a while before we get one bee uh, but if we can't find a bee's nest quick enough uh, what I plan on doing and yeah I think I'm gonna do it to him uh, what I plan on doing is just going to that flower forest that we found in a, a very early on episode and we could just silk touch a bad boy from there and uh, call it good. So supposedly, also, they can just spawn randomly in uh, a variety of locations. I don't remember. People have given me so many comment helps. Uh, just, like, comments helping me and explaining to me uh, the things I should probably already know. And, yeah, I, I probably should know them, but I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not good at Minecraft, guys. There's all these snowballs on the ground. I don't want to collect them. What am I supposed to do with all these snowballs, guys? Honestly, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just leave them on the ground. Man, you can cramp in my style. It's like when you're shaving and you cut your face. That's how I feel like like when you're shaving off this layer of snow and you uh, you hit the dirt wrong. Man, am I really going to need another shovel? Dude, that's crazy. That's so much, so much snow. I guess it is a pretty big area, so I shouldn't be too surprised there. Uh, but we'll go. I, I really don't want all these. I'm just gonna throw them, throw them over here in the corner, and hope that no one finds them. I don't need one seed either. Okay, let's go over here. Let's make an iron shovel, the best of the shovels. I don't have any diamonds, I don't believe, so that's why I haven't been doing those. Um, I should. Ooh, I can get rid of this one potato now. We did cook up a few potatoes last episode as well, and I did not show you guys that. Uh, but there's a lot of potatoes. Um, we should be stacked on potatoes for the foreseeable future um, until our cows get to be grown up a little bit. Now, I hope that that happens quickly, and now that I mention it, I need to go check on them and probably breed them uh, just so that we can be sure and uh, 
future proof ourselves and keep this doubling of the mobs going. I really haven't done it as often as I sh probably should have. Um, but I, ha I have a, you know, pretty steady for potato feed going, but like potatoes just suck. Honestly, they do. They're so slow or they have such low saturation that you have to eat so often. It's just not worth it. It's like in real life when you eat all those carbs, guys. They go right through you. You get hungry very easy. You just eat a lot of protein. You stay full longer. So like, like, you know, you sound like my mom telling me what to eat. <laughs> I hope not. I don't want to sound like that. But yeah, a nice little encased area with uh, extra snowballs, of course. You know us. I just hope that I can make these disappear. I don't want to pick them all up because I don't, well, I don't have enough inventory space. I don't see any other way that they'll disappear, though, aside from just the, the you know, hitting that five minute limit um, of entities on the ground. And then maybe they'll disappear. Also, if it snows, all this was for no reason, so I don't really know the reason behind getting all the snow out, but I mean, it looks a lot better to me when there's no snow. Um, maybe we should build some sort of roof over it, but I, I don't know how that would work. It would be a big old roof. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to grow, like, crops out here, but I think that's what bees are for. And I said I build everything in a greenhouse. Man, look how much snow is here. Like, what am I supposed to do? I guess I can just technically stand somewhere and just, like, do this, but that, I don't feel like that works too well. I guess I could walk around like this. I'm going to do that for a bit. Hold on. That's kind of fun. You know what, guys? This actually works better than I would have thought. Um, either way, I would have had to have picked all of them up to make them go away. Um, and walking around just shooting them, like just holding your mouse down or your trigger down or your finger down on the screen, um, you can pick them up at a rate that, well, it sort of self-sustains. You just kind of walk around and shoot your snowballs. Um, but yeah, I'll come back when it's day because it's, it's not going to be fun at night. I don't want mobs to spawn in here either. I don't have any torches, so yeah, we got to run back now, actually. Okay, back to the action. Snowballs are still here, but alas, we have our new technique for picking them up. Works beautifully. We still have the ones in our inventory to deal with, but I'll just make snow blocks, make it real easy for ourselves. Um, and there we go. I think that's all of them. There'll probably be a few, you know, just spazzing out like that, but we can't do anything about those bad boys. Uh, but it'll, hey, the positive, you know what? We'll have more snow blocks, which I have not used any of my snow blocks yet. Uh, but I promise you guys, I'll use my snow blocks at some point. But yes, let's put all of these flowers down. We have quite a variety to pick from, um, as well as some saplings. So we'll put like a sapling here, a sapling here, a sapling here, a sapling here. Now, hopefully, eventually, we can make it uh, a little bit more dense in here as far as the saplings go. Um, but the flowers, I will always try to keep up um, as many as we can. I just don't know how many like flowers have to be. I think it's just one flower near the sapling. Uh, but I did want to kind of make this area look kind of pretty, I guess. So we'll put flowers down. Does that automatically make an area pretty? Maybe. But I have more flowers. You know, I have like a large variety. Um, but not too many of like any one kind except for these roses, which I'm already running out of. I'm trying to place them evenly, like around the map. See, that, that one already grew. And there were flowers near it, but there's there's no bee on it. And I think it is just like a really rare chance. I don't think it's going to happen too often. So I really just need to farm saplings and get them going. And I do have a good bit of bone meal. So I think that'll make this a lot easier. Yeah, I definitely already have enough flowers planted. <laughs> Probably a bit too many. Uh, but that's okay. You know what? We're, we're making a field of flowers here. And it looks kind of cool, I guess. We got a few orange ones. We'll try to space them out as evenly as possible. And then these are the same. Now these big guys, these are my favorite. So we'll space these out pretty evenly. We'll try to do our absolute best to make them even. There's just so many that I'm afraid some areas are going to be you know, a little less populated with the big guys. But it's okay. Now we have these lilacs. I think they changed the texture. They made them a lot more vibrant. They look good though. I did not like the way they looked before. They looked all like muted and pastel, weird colors. Uh, but now they're a lot more vibrant. But yes, now we have a big, beautiful farm of, of uh, oak trees. Uh, let's go ahead and bone meal all the ones that are not grown. Um, so I don't see a bee's, a bee's nest on there. 
no bees nest on there that and again that's okay um oh see look oh yes we got our first bee aha cool now again i don't really know what that means exact okay okay fine <laughs> it does not want to grow with that thing next to it. it's like no i will not grow no matter how much bone meal you feed me see that that's a really big boy too wow hmm well, it looks like you're stuck buddy would you like would you like a push there you go no are you just trying to oh there's another bee over here where did this one come from did it no it just must have come out of this hive so I guess they're pollinating the flowers or something I don't know <laughs> it's the first time I've really interacted with bees I had them a, a long time ago in another area uh, but it didn't work out too too well because uh, I because I, I broke the nest Without realizing you needed silk touch. But we'll go ahead and mine all this. It was a big oof moment. I had ran all that distance. Broke it and realized I can't even get them yet. And uh, that was on like episode 8 or 9. <laughs> this was a pretty big setback. You're that early on and you're excited to try out the new bees. And uh, now we're on episode 25. And we're getting to the bees now. <laughs> you know, it's, t it's taken long enough, I guess. But they're out here. They're already pollinating a lot, it seems. Um... I think I have to click on it with a honey bottle. I don't exactly know. I'll, I'll go on the wiki and do some reading about it. Because uh, I really do need to do reading. I don't quite understand any of the mechanics thus far. Uh, it's kind of important that I do. I'll just 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 a little bit important that I understand. If I'm going to be doing stuff with bees, probably should understand how they work. But we do have a nest, which is good. Happy to hear that. Um, or see it, at least. It looks cool. And uh, th th this whole area looks pretty nice. Um, there's no torches in here, so maybe that's something we'll get to pretty soon because, well, we're going to need a little bit of lighting. I'm just kind of running around talking, trying to get all these saplings as they pop up, and uh, we'll sort of plant trees just sort of periodically throughout here. Um, I'll try not to put them next to the really big big flowers because apparently, uh, apparently that's a no-no. They will not grow next to the big flowers, which is kind of weird. I don't really see why not, but for some reason they have a problem with it. Okay, well, I'll wait for more saplings to fall, and then I will put them down as they come, and uh, we'll see how many we end up with. I've been sitting here kind of AFK. I really haven't moved, and I keep hearing these weird noises, and I think it's the bees going in and out of their hive. I'm not really sure that goes like, broom, broom. I don't know. I could just be going crazy. I just got a new flashlight. You guys, something I'll share about you. Sorry, share about me. Something I'll share about me that's kind of weird. I like flashlights. I've always sort of liked them. Um, I don't know if I necessarily collect them, but I appreciate a good a good torch. And uh, I just got a D4 V2 um, TI, which is a titanium one. You're probably like, Neo, what are you talking about, dude? You're talking about flashlights now? What, what's wrong with you? I do like flashlights. I know it's kind of silly. Man, this is a giant tree. Um, but yeah, I just got it, and I turned it on turbo and shined it on my desk. I need to dust my desk very, very bad. Um, it just became apparent to me as I looked at my desk. It's very dusty in the areas that I don't touch a whole lot. Um, you know, obviously the areas that I, I traffic more frequently with my arms and stuff. Um, there is a lot, you know, less dust there. Um, but there's still too much dust. Um, I'd prefer to not have dust all over my desk. Um, we need more oak saplings. I don't really know where to get them aside from the, you know, like, well... There's a jungle over there. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're just going to multiply them in here. There's no other way to really do it. Let's go check. What is that? Oh, it's a bunny. Jeez, from far away, I thought it was some like weird new mob. It just looked odd. I don't know. That was freaking me out for a second. I was like, man, it's getting really late at night. It's almost 5 in the morning. I've been up all night. You know, maybe Your brain starts to trick you to, to go to sleep. It's like, hey bad stuff's happening man you should go to bed it's like oh no maybe i should or maybe i'll breed my my fake virtual cows huh how about that brain you like that yeah you like that okay but let's let's look at this thing um enough silly talk our enchanting area is always looked a little off i don't necessarily think it's the best thing i've done but it's not also the worst i've ever done but it could use a little bit of improvement so let's go mine out a big tree and luckily, these big trees are... This one right here is actually pretty tiny. Um, and we got some time to spare. I'm sorry this episode wasn't the craziest thing ever. 
Um, didn't have like the most action-packed episode ever. It, some of the episodes, again, I've said this, are just going to have to be like that. It's 5 in the morning, and it's either I don't have an episode come out on Sunday, or I upload something like this. Um, and I'm still pretty happy with it. I'm glad we got a B, finally. Uh, I keep saying A, B, but I don't know how many are in that nest. But we have a B nest. Sorry, a beehive. And hopefully it'll, it'll start producing us some honey. Again, I have no idea how it works, so we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm um, also figured out via the comments because people will just storm me like, Neo, the beehive does blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, thank God for telling me because now I understand. Well, after a long night's rest, I've come out here to do something that's need to have, it's needed to have been done a long time ago. I don't know what I was thinking when I built this. Like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just build things and they don't turn out the best. Um, it's too close to my bridge, and while I don't mind, like, like I was going to bow the supports out, I just don't think it would fit. So, like, I'm looking at it, and I don't really see what I can do different, aside from maybe something like this. I, I just, I don't know, and th this may end up fixing it, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave them open for now, like some open logs. I think that looks okay. Uh, we just should probably put something down on it, I just don't know what. Uh, but that fixes the whole issue of it being really not very... It just didn't have very much texture. It was really flat on the outside. Let's go over here. We're going to do something controversial. Um, so if, you're, if your faint heart don't watch, we're going to make 64 buttons. You're asking yourself, dude, did you, did you, really, did you really just do that? Um, and yeah, so buttons look good on just a variety of things. I'll put them all over um, certain stuff, and I think it looks really good. Some people, you know, they disagree. They're more of a functional person. Uh, that's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like, you like. But look, we could put... No, we can't put buttons there. <laughs> I say buttons are so useful, I run around. I'm like, I can't find any use for these buttons. Um, but you know what? They, they helped fix the enchantment room, so that's something, right? Let's go over here. This tree should be decayed all the way. Yes, it is. And then this oak tree in here, which is what I was actually talking about, should be decayed. And then we can have some more saplings. Cool. Or two more. That You know what? Two is okay. Uh, did any of these guys spawn with the beehive? Uh, no, not that I can see. Now, I, I don't know. If I break this tree, will it, even, will it even disappear? It's so close to this other one, I'm afraid that it won't. Yeah, I don't think it will. We'll have to go in by hand. I don't want to harm the bees' tree, because um, they have a pretty nice tree here. So I'm trying not to disturb them too much. Uh, but I do have to remove these leaves, unfortunately, guys. Uh, because these are breaking, uh, you know, the OSHA violations of my bee farm. And I can't have that. So I think once I disconnect them, and they're not, like, connecting anymore. Oh, okay, they're on this tree now. Now they should decay, right? If I step back, yes. Okay, cool. Um, this tree just spawned no beehive, so we'll break it. So we should be getting a good bit of oak saplings. We'll get to a point where there's too many trees in here to even put more down. Uh, but for right now, we're still at a point where we can actually pretty much just put them down wherever and not run into any issues. Uh, but we'll come back every so often. We'll check it. I just need to make sure and come back here to get all these saplings because I will forget. Um, there's something with me and like waiting for trees to decay. It bothers me so much to just sit there. So you know what? We'll, we'll go farm the wheat farm because it, it, it needs to be farmed. It hasn't been farmed in so long that every single one has grown. Uh, which somehow takes longer than you'd think. Um, no, see, like, look, there's still one that isn't grown. I don't know why, but RNG sometimes is just like, there. Th there's a maximum and a minimum amount of time it can take for a piece of wheat to grow. And uh, how it determines that is just completely random. So I guess that one chose the maximum time, which I don't know what it is, and that one did too. And basically, they'll just... Uh, uh, it'll take almost forever for them to grow. So if your OCD is really bad, then you're going to have a fun time playing Minecraft if you if you become a farmer like, you know, Uncle Neo here, who's the, the biggest farmer ever. I, I don't think I'm any of your uncles. I really hope not, at least. I'd have a, have a lot of questions, I think. What would it mean if I'm an uncle? Oh, that my br brother... Or s I don't have a sister. But my brother would have a son. I would be an uncle. Okay. Makes sense. Look at that family time with Neo, who can't, who doesn't even understand what it means to be an uncle. Yeah, you see that—that's the level of social adeptness I'm at. My my adaptivity in social situations just is peaked past normal. 
Dude, my brain's starting to shut down. It's starting to shut down all the way. And then we're going to end up just talking about nonsense. <laughs> I'm already at that point almost. I mean, it always takes one little extra seed. I'm not sure why. Uh, but eventually we'll have to throw away seeds. We're already getting a huge surplus. Wheat, we have not gotten the biggest surplus of, but we have a good bit. Um, I did not forget about all the all the decaying leaves. I'm going to go check them now and get all the saplings from those. And hopefully we come back and there's like 80, 80 beehives in here. That's all I'm trying to do is just get the beehives and I guess silk touch them and then move them. I really don't know. Again, like I, I'm so new to this. I know I've said that like a, probably a billion times. Um, but yeah, if you didn't watch the live stream, go watch it. Uh, what else can I say to bother you guys? Hmm. I think that's it. But that was all the saplings, really? Didn't feel like very many. Did we get lucky? Is there a beehive? No, there's not. Okay. Maybe they have to be bone mealed? Probably not. I don't know. All right, you guys got me for another four minutes. Yeah, that's right, another whole four minutes. Um, uh, there's not many. Uh, there's n oh, well, there's a sapling. Did it go on the other side? No, no, I broke the I broke the flower. <laughs> okay, we'll put it right here. So yeah, we're already getting a very high concentration of saplings. Uh, we're gonna get to a point pretty soon here where we do not need to plant anymore. Cause this area, I don't want to plant anything under here. Uh, but like over here we could plant a couple maybe one over here too i don't know but it should be pretty good look at these these trees are starting to grow so quick we can't even keep up with them which is what i'm going for well, i was trying to go for at least okay we'll put a sapling right there too okay let's get out of here before we get in stuck in this infinite loop of saplings because eventually they'll just fall so often they're like you know and then they'll and then the, and then the tree will grow and i just won't leave that area and that's not what i'm going for Let's go over and check out this bridge. Not this bridge, this super highway again. I just want to I want to ride on it again and see if I can actually get proficient in uh, successfully going on the diagonal parts. I don't know what it is about the diagonal parts, but they just kill me. Every single time I'm in a bouncing on the walls. Uh, okay, my boat's backwards. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I made it perfect. Oh, wow. Look at this speed, guys. Can we keep it up? Probably not right here. Okay. Definitely not right there. Uh, can we keep it up here at least? Maybe a little bit? No? Can we keep it up on this long one? Yeah, look at that, guys. Woohoo! Perfect. I don't want to go any further anyways. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really explored this general you know, area that's right outside this hub. Uh, but this is where I plan on starting to do some projects. I think I'm going to clear out most or this entire island um, of trees and bamboo. Um, that's going to be one of those projects, I think, <laughs> that we're going to live stream again. And you want to know why? Because who wants to see someone on, on their Minecraft series clear out an entire island of jungle by hand? I hope not any of you want to watch that. Um, but I need to see how big this island even is. I think it may end like right over here, which is perfect. Um, I feel like this would be like the perfect big size to do a big project on. So maybe I should mark that down somewhere. Uh, you know what? I will mark that down somewhere. Let me just get a little bit of a tree here. So a, a, a little baby tree. So they, oh, I already have a ton of wood. I'm in, oh, dude. I'm a moron. I was. Not for, why is there a torch out here? Hmm. But yeah, this thing should be pretty fun to clear out. I'm just going to put a sign over here to remember like that that's a big project idea. Um, I already plan on building stuff here, but I didn't really know what. Uh, but before I build anything big here, I'd like to conquer the entire island and just mine it all out. It's pretty big, but it's not like the biggest thing ever. Uh, it may take like a few streams and uh, five or six double chests full of bamboo. <laughs> There's a lot of bamboo here, that's for dang sure. So I'll definitely uh, have my fair share of bamboo. We can see the oceans just right over there still. So it's not too big of an island. No, I think this should be good. I'm just trying to find my hub now. I think it was like over in here. It's like kind of on the middle in the side, like right over here. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we'll put a sign back at, back at this little base. I think I have even a crafting table already ready uh, for little like little, little things like this. Uh, but yeah, the secret code of the day is going to be, it's going to be 4591. 
So that's the secret code of the day. If you put that in the comment section down below, you get a heart from me. And uh, I would appreciate it if you did it. That way I can see how many people actually watched the entire video. Uh, that's the only reason I ask. Um, I just would appreciate it. But if you if you don't want to, you really don't have to. Let me know if you would want to see enchanted boats. I feel like that would be cool. I just looked at those boats. I was like, hmm, if you could enchant those. Hmm. Neo 5, 5, 5.15 a.m. Thoughts. What was I making? Signs. Okay. I do. I'll write this. Have... Lauren, clear out entire island of plant plants like trees slash boo. I'm calling bamboo boo. That's it. We're out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm so excited to go to bed. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun building all this stuff. It looks really cool. It turned out well. I mean, like, again, it gets like... A literal super highway. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in episode 26 next uh, Thursday. Or not next Thursday, but this Thursday, I guess. And Sunday's the first day of the week, which I learned like a week ago. And don't want to get into it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.